welcome to another session of grade 9 mathematics chapter 7 triangles dear students in this third part of the chapter we shall discuss in detail the solutions to ncrt exercise 7.2 let us get to the first question of exercise 7.2 which says in an isosceles triangle ABC, so please note, in an isosceles triangle ABC with AB is equal to AC, the bisectors of angle B and angle C intersect each other at O. Then join A to O. So these are the data that is given as part of the question no figure is given as such so we'll try to make a figure with the given data as part of the solution let us complete the question it says that show that ob is equal to oc also ao bisects angle a let us quickly get to the solution of question number one now this is how the figure would look like with the given data let us get to the first part of the question wherein we have been asked to prove triangle abo congruent to triangle aco in other words ob is equal to oc so it is been given in the question itself that in triangle abc AB is equal to AC. So if AB is equal to AC, angle ACB will be equal to angle ABC. Why? Because the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So we have written that angle ACB will be equal to angle ABC. So if these two angles are equal to one another, their half will also be equal according to Euclid's axiom. So in the third line I will write half of ACB will be equal to half of angle ABC. Now let us quickly get to the figure. What is half of angle ACB? Yes, I can write it as angle ACO or angle BCO. But I'll write over here angle ACO. So half of ACB is written as angle ACO. Likewise, what can I mention as half of ABC? Yes, I can mention half of ABC as angle ABO. Why could I do this? Because OB and OC bisect angle B and angle C respectively. This is again given as part of the question. Now let me consider triangle ABO and triangle ACO. Look into the figure ABO and triangle ACO. Now what can I say about these two triangles? First, AB is equal to AC. Yes, that's a given fact. Then can I say that angle ABO is equal to angle ACO? Yes, I've already proved in the fourth line. Look at the solution. Yes. And what is common to both the triangles? Look at the figure. What is common to triangle ABO and ACO? Yes. AO is the common side to both the triangles. So what have we got? We have got AB is equal to AC. We have got angle ABO is equal to angle ACO. Also, we have got AO is equal to AO. Using these three data, I can conclude that triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ACO. Which rule satisfies this? Yes, SAS congruency rule. Now, if triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ACO, I can easily state that OB of triangle ABO will be equal to O 
OC of triangle ACO. What is the reason? CPCT. Yes, corresponding parts of congruent triangle. So, hence we have proved the first part. Now, what is the second part? Second part, very we are asked to prove that OA by 6 angle A. Now, if we could observe that we have already proved that triangle ABO is congruent to triangle ACO. Hence, I can easily state that angle BAO of triangle ABO is equal to angle CAO of triangle ACO by CPCT. That means angle A of triangle ABO is equal to angle A of triangle ACO. If they are equal, how can they be? It clearly suggests that OA by 6 angle A. With well, this, we come to the end of solution to question number 1. I hope you all understood the solution to question number 1. If yes, let's quickly get to question number 2. Exercise 7.2, question number 2. It says that in triangle ABC, AD is the perpendicular bisector of BC. See figure. So a figure has been given wherein there is a triangle ABC and AD is what is a perpendicular bisector of BC. That means angle D is 90. And it is a bisector of BC. That means BD will be equal to BC. What are we supposed to prove? Prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. Let's try to prove that by taking two triangles which are clearly seen in the given figure. Which are those two triangles? Yes, triangle ABD and triangle ACD. Now, considering those two triangles, I can mention over here that BD is equal to BC. Why so? Because it is clearly mentioned that AD is a bisector of BC. AD is going to bisect BC. Therefore, BD will be equal to BC. At the same time, angle ADB of triangle ABD will be equal to angle ADC. I repeat, angle ADB will be equal to angle ADC. Why is that the case? Because AD is perpendicular, which is also the given factor. Okay, now is something common to both the triangles, that is triangle ABD and triangle ACD? Observe it carefully. Is something common to triangle ABD and triangle ACD? Yes side AD. So AD is equal to both the triangles. So what have you proved? BD is equal to BC. Angle ADB is equal to angle ABC. And AD is equal to AB. So by SAS congruency rule, I can state that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. If that's the case, as part of CPCT, I can conclude that AB of triangle ABD is equal to AC of triangle ACD. That's what I'm supposed to prove. I proved that AB is equal to AC. Hence, I can conclude that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. I believe the solution was easy to understand. Yes. Then let's get into question number three. Question number three says that ABC is an isosceles triangle. What type of triangle? Isosceles. In which altitudes BE and CF are drawn to equal sides AC and AB respectively. So now we are clear from the figure also that ABC is an isosceles triangle which are the equal sides AC and AB. Okay. And BE and CF are altitudes. If you could look into the figure, 
it also says that BE is perpendicular to AC and CF is perpendicular to AD. We have been asked to prove that these altitudes are equal. In other words, we have been asked to prove that BE is equal to CF. Let us quickly get to the solution. Now, let us consider triangle ABE and triangle ACF. Now, if we could see, is given in the figure itself that angle AEB is equal to angle AFC because they are perpendicular, is equal to 90 degrees. Also, if we could see for both the triangles, there is a common angle and that is angle A. So angle A of triangle ABE is equal to angle A of triangle ACF. Further, it is also given in the question that AB is equal to AC. Yes, triangle ABC is isosceles and AB is equal to AC is also the given factor. So what have we got as of now? That angle AEB is equal to angle AFC, angle A of triangle ABE is equal to angle A of triangle ACF, AB is equal to AC. With this, we can conclude that Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF by AAS congruency rule. If that's the case, we can easily state that BE of triangle ABE is congruent to CF of triangle ACF. Which rule? Yes, CP, CT rule. I hope this much is clear to all of you. Okay, if that's the case, let's quickly get to question number four, which is very similar to question number three. Here, it has been given that ABC is a triangle in which altitudes BE and CF to sides AC and AB are equal. So what are equal over here? So altitudes are equal, okay? BE and CF are given as equal. What are we supposed to prove? Show that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF, okay? Very similar to what we did in question number three. Also, what are we supposed to prove? That ABC is an isosceles triangle by proving that AB is equal to AC. That can be easily done once the first part of the question is clear. Let's get to the solution. Now, as we have been asked to prove triangle ABE and triangle ACF to be congruent, let's begin with that triangle. In triangle ABE and triangle ACF, look into the figure, ABE and ACF. If we could see, it's really clearly mentioned in the figure that angle AEB is equal to angle AFC because they are both perpendicular, it's equal to 90 degrees. Clearly mentioned in the figure. Also, for both the triangles, angle A is a common angle. So angle A of triangle ABE is equal to angle A of triangle ACF. Also, it has been given that the altitudes are equal. That is, BE of triangle ABE is equal to CF of triangle ACF. Now, what have we proved right now? That angle AEB is equal to angle AFC, angle A is equal to angle A, and BE is equal to CF. With this three given data, I can easily state that triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF with the help of AAS congruency rule. Isn't that easy? If that has been proved, then I can clearly state from the proved fact that AB is congruent to triangle ACF that the corresponding part AB of triangle ABE is equal to the corresponding part AC 
of triangle ACF. What's the reason? CP, CT. And the corresponding parts of a congruent triangle would be equal. Now, since AB is equal to AC, I can clearly conclude that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. I hope the solution to this question was pretty clear and easy for everyone. Let us now get to the next question. Question number five of exercise 7.2, which says, ABC and DBC are two isosceles triangles on the same base BC. I repeat, ABC and DBC. Let us quickly get to the question. ABC and DBC are two isosceles triangles on the same base BC. Yeah, two isosceles triangles. How come ABC is isosceles? Yes, it is clearly mentioned in the figure that AB and AC are equal sides. And for triangle DBC, DB and DC are equal sides. Okay, what are we supposed to prove? We have been asked to prove that angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. Angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. Let's get to the solution. Now, as you could see, in isosceles triangle ABC, we have AB is equal to AC and angle ABC is equal to angle ACD. Because if AB is equal to AC, the angles opposite to them will also be equal. Similarly, in isosceles triangle DCD, it is given that DD is equal to CD. If BD is equal to CD, hence their opposite angles will also be equal. Yes, because angles opposite to the equal sides are equal in measure. Now, in the first part I've got angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. In the second part I've got angle DBC is equal to angle DCB. If I could add the first and the second part, that is, LHS of the first part is equal to addition of RHS of the second part. So the first part LHS is angle ABC plus LHS of the second equation that is DBC. So that means angle ABC plus angle DBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB. Yes, so what I've done is I've added the equation 1 and equation now, if you could get to the figure ABC, angle ABC plus angle DBC, together becomes what? Angle ABD. Likewise, angle ACB plus angle DCB, look into the figure, what will they together be known as? ACB plus DCB? Yes, angle ACB. Hence, we have proved over here that angle ABD is equal to angle ACB. I hope the solution was clear and easy for all of us. Let us quickly get to the next question. Question number six. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC. It is also given that side BA is produced to D such that AD is equal to AB. See the figure. Now if you could look into the figure, there are two equal things given. One is AB is equal to AC. The other thing is that AB is also equal to AD. What are we supposed to prove? That angle BCD is a right angle. Let us do that as part of the solution. Now, if we could look into the figure in triangle ACD, I'm talking about triangle ACD, AB is equal to AC, which is the given term. Now, if the two sides are equal, the angles opposite to them can also be considered as equal. Hence, 
the angle opposite to AB is angle ACD is equal to angle D. Similarly, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. Yes, AB is equal to AC. So I can write that angle B is equal to angle ACB. That is angle opposite to equal sides are equal. Now, in triangle DBC, what I can conclude is that the sum of all the three angles should be 180. So angle D plus angle B plus angle BCD should be 180. Now, instead of angle D, as I proved in the first equation, I will write angle ACD. Instead of angle B, I shall write as proved in the second equation, angle ACD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degrees. Now, you could see over here that ACD plus angle ACB together forms BCD. So, the first two angles, that is ACD plus ACB has been written as single angle BCD plus angle BCD which is already present is equal to 180 degrees. So what did I get? Two angle BCD is equal to 180 degrees. So the two goes to the other side, goes in the division. Therefore, angle BCD is equal to 180 degree divided by two. Hence, BCD is equal to 90 degree. Now, my dear students, if it is equal to 90 degree, what can I conclude? That angle BCD is a right angle. Yes. So I hope. You are all clear with the solution with this particular question. If yes, let's go to the next question and try to solve it. Question number seven. This should be an easy one for all of us. ABC is a right angle triangle in which angle A is equal to 90 degree and AB is equal to AC. So let's draw a figure. ABC is a right angle in which angle A is 90. So if you could see the figure, angle A is 90 and AB is equal to AC. Find angle B and angle C. This is extremely easy for all of us to solve. So in triangle ABC, what is given? That AB is equal to AC. Yes? Now, if that's the case, if AB is equal to AC, what can I prove? That angle B will be equal to angle C because angles opposite to equal size are equal. Yes. So if I now try to take triangle ABC, angle A plus angle B plus angle C should be equal to 180 degree. And angle is already given as 90. So 90 plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now, angle B and angle C are equal. So, in the next step, what I will do is 90 degrees written as it is, angle B is written as it is. Now, since angle B and C are equal, I'll replace angle C with angle B. So, what do I get? 90 plus angle B plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. So, 90 plus 2 angle B is equal to 180 degree. Now, 2 angle B is equal to 180 plus 90 goes to the other side becomes minus 90. So 2 angle B is equal to 90 degree. Angle B is equal to 90 degree by 2 is equal to 45 degree. Yes. The last line written over here is incorrect. What should be the answer of angle B? 45 degree. So angle B is equal to angle C. Yes, because we already said that they are equal to one another. And since angle B is equal to 45 degree, and the C will also be 45 degree. So the last line has to be corrected over here. That angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degree. I hope we are all clear with the solution for question number 7. Yes, that was an easy one. Let's then quickly get into question number 8 and the last question of exercise 7.2. Question number eight is, it asks us to show that 
the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degree each. I say it again. It asks us to prove that the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degree each. What is the definition of an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all the three sides equal. Okay. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all the three sides equal. Now, if that's the case, the angles opposite to them will also be equal. That's what I've solved over here. So, as triangle ABC is equilateral, AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. Now, let me take the small part of that. That is AB is equal to AC. If AB is equal to AC, angle ACB will be equal to angle ABC. That is, if two sides are equal, the opposite angles would also be equal. Again, in the very first part, since ABC is equilateral, I can also state that BC is equal to AC. Yes. Now, if BC is equal to AC, angle BAC will be equal to angle ABC. What's the reason? Yes, that the angles opposite to the equal sides of a triangle are equal. Now, if you consider triangle ABC, the sum of all the three angles has to be 180 degree each. That means angle ABC plus angle ACB plus angle BAC should be equal to 180. Now, all that I'm going to do over here is I'm going to replace ACB and BAC by angle ABC because I've already proved in the first and the second equation that ACB and BAC are equal to angle ABC. So, all that I'm going to do is Replace ACB and BAC by angle BAC, ABC. So what am I getting? Angle ABC plus angle ABC plus angle ABC is equal to 180 degree. So ABC plus ABC plus ABC is three angle ABC is equal to 180 degree. D goes to the other side. That is 180 divided by three. So what do I get? An angle ABC is equal to 60 degree. I've already proved in the above step that the three angles are equal to, should be equal to one another. For example, ABC should be equal to ACB and ABC should also be equal to angle BAC. So what does that mean? That ACB is also 60 degree and angle BAC is also 60 degree. Now we have proved that each of the angle of my equilateral triangle is 60 degree each. With this, we come to the end of solution for question number eight. I hope you have understood all the solutions of all the eight questions of exercise 7.2. Please practice it well in your notebook. Practice it two times, three times until you get the concepts clear. This is all for now. Take care of yourself until we meet next time with another session. Thank you.